Meghan Markle received yet another nickname based on her character from father-in-law Prince Charles, royal correspondent Russell Myers claimed. Meghan Markle has allegedly been given a new nickname from her father-in-law, Prince Charles, inspired by her ability to settle into her new royal life. The Duchess of Sussex was reported to have been dubbed Duchess Difficult due to the reportedly dictatorial relationship she established with royal staff. But Meghan was reserved a more flattering moniker by Prince Charles, royal correspondent Russell Myers told Yahoo's The Royal Box, they really developed this strong bond. He's even got a nickname for her. He's been calling her Tungsten, the metal, because she is tough and unbending. It's a bit of a weird one but I think he really respects her. He thinks she has managed to deal with it well. He has had his fair share of bad press in the past, a lot of crisis in his life, so I think he's trying to get her to navigate the choppy waters of joining the royal family. That sort of bonding between them is really nice to see because she hasn't had it easy, has she? Meghan Markle and Prince Charles were seen to have a friendly relationship when the Prince of Wales stepped up to walk the former American actress down the aisle as she married his son Prince Harry in May 2018. Charles was forced to take on the temporary role of father of the bride after Meghan's dad Thomas Markle bailed on the ceremony last minute due to a pact he allegedly struck with paparazzi to have some pictures taken before the royal wedding. The relationship between the pair has remained rocky, with Thomas last year agreeing to have a letter from Meghan published in which the Duchess urged him to stop appearing on television to discuss her private life. Despite several appeals from both her father and half-siblings Thomas and Samantha to reconcile, Meghan Markle has focused her attention on settling into her royal life and spending time with husband Harry and their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor. The youngest member of the royal family will be christened on July 6 two months to the day after his birth, at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, but the Duchess is believed to have extended an invitation to only her mother and closest friends. Mr. Myers continued, those bridges are completely burned. People I've been speaking to this week have said Meghan only wants positive influences in Archie's life, so she has completely banished her father, no contact going on whatsoever. As I understand, he has been trying to have an intermediary reach out to her. He has had his son, Thomas Markle Jr., trying to say this would be the perfect opportunity to try and get the family back together. But people close to Meghan I have been speaking to say absolutely zero chance of that happening. Meghan is Doria's only child, and the pair had a very close relationship, with Meghan telling Glamour in August 2018, we can just have so much fun together, and yet I'll still find so much solace in her support. That duality coexists the same way it would in a best friend. Of the close friends believed to have been invited, tennis star Serena Williams and fashion stylist Jessica Mulroney could also be on track to become godmothers to baby Archie. Prince Charles and wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall will also attend the private service as will Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge. Official pictures are to be released after the ceremony on Saturday, but the christening itself will be privately held in the Queen's private chapel, the Inner Sanctum at Windsor Castle. Some royal fans have expressed disappointment at the private nature of Archie's christening, but others have argued it is the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's choice. Fewer than 25 guests are expected to attend the baptism, and unlike the ceremonies of Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis, cameras will not be allowed to capture the arrivals and departures of attendees.